we are always looking to replicate the champions, a style that champions have. NFL, it happens all the time. But can you replicate what Baylor does? They they led the nation in three-point field goal percentage. And I think the only other national title team to do that was Indiana, back with Steve Alford, maybe the first year they had the three-point shot. Can you can you replicate what they did? Yeah, um, but you're going to have to have great guards that can defend at that high of a level. Like I, I think their three-point shooting was a big factor, obviously, but it wasn't the only factor. That early on in the season, I think we had identified Baylor as having the best defensive backcourt in the country, that, and and I'm not sure it was a close call. Uh, and with Davion Mitchell, like he he's a lottery pick. That guy is the real deal. Um, he, he's a He's unique in that he is unbelievably strong and uh, and he's unbelievably explosive. He's got another gear and he's he's got leverage. He stays in front of you. Uh, really an incredible defender. It's no wonder he was the National Defensive Player of the Year with the way he affects the game. Uh, but Baylor was good last year. Like they were a number one seed last year before the tournament got called off. I don't think they were a no brainer to win it, uh, but but they could have won it. And they've been knocking on this door for quite a while now. And but so's Gonzaga. That that's kind of the funny thing. I Gonzaga is the more interesting case to me because Baylor is a power five team with a you know power five football and all that stuff. Gonzaga's been to six straight sweet 16s. Six straight. There's only a couple other programs that have done that in the game's history. They've won they, they've won 30 or more, including last year, in five straight years. That's never been done before, ever. <laughs> and and so we're talking about and they've been to I think it's four of the last six elite eights um, and two of the last four title games. That's not a fluke like this is not some little mid major that they play, um, you know, they, they play a, an easier schedule. Therefore, they're more like that. That's just not fair. And people are saying that now. I mean, you see it on social media told you they, they were a fraud. And all, like, really, really? Um they're, they're really good, and they're going to be just as good next year because they've got big-time players. Like, now they're starting to recruit the superstar high school players, and they've always gotten transfers, uh, but they're not going to go away either. So uh, we're going to see this. We're, we're, we could very likely see this again, not just with these two teams, but Gonzaga's not going anywhere.